Democrats are holding their state party convention in La Crosse this weekend. Political reporter Will Keneally shares more from the event as day one wraps up. Day one of the Democratic State Party Convention just wrapped up, as you can see behind me. And we've already heard from members of the congressional delegation, like Ron Kind and Tammy Baldwin, and Congressman Mark Pocan, who says November's elections are key for Democrats. If we want to hold the Democratic majority in the House of Representatives, we must hold on to Ron Kind's third congressional district. If we don't win and hold seats in the state assembly and senate, the governor's veto can't be upheld. And if we don't keep Josh Call as our attorney general, corporations and special interests will run the office. November's elections are expected to be bad for Democrats. The president's party generally loses seats in the midterm. But Democrats say abortion could be a motivating issue to drive blue turnout. We just heard from the governor and we're expected to hear from U.S. Senate candidates tomorrow morning. Reporting from La Crosse, Will Keneally, News 3 Now. Meanwhile, the GOP says that Democratic policies are failing Wisconsinites. Early today, the RNC and the Republic Party of Wisconsin held a virtual press conference. Now, during that time, Chairman Paul Farrow talked about how record high inflation is impacting people in the state. He said, quote, Democrats are on thin ice. According to an estimate from Congress's Joint Economic Committee, inflation is now costing the average American family an extra $635 per month. Wisconsin's, Wisconsinites can no longer afford Democrats. Democrats' costly agenda any longer. We cannot sustain this, end quote.